Hey guys, we were talking about line sets, switching them out. Is it good? Is it needed? Do you have to switch out line sets when you're going from R22 to 410A? Or from any mineral oil to whatever's going in next? Uh, depending on what sort of HVACR work you're doing. The second step of that video will be talking about the flush that goes into the lines. Now personally, I said I don't, I don't care about flush. I don't use it unless there's some sort of real egregious thing that's happened like there's a burnout or something like that. It's got to be pretty bad um, because I think flush causes some issues and it's by itself. Uh, the main thing that I don't like flush for because I think it becomes trapped in the line. Of course all of it doesn't make it through the line and it makes it very difficult to get it out of the line and perform a vacuum. What I've noticed is when you vacuum a line that has no flush in it, you go through the process, it's over. Uh, after you vacuum, you know, you usually change your oil or, you know, Sometimes it's a couple times before you change your oil. But what I've noticed with flush is you'll go through it and the vacuum will take a very long time because the flush is boiling off is what I'm assuming. And the vacuum oil, you can just see it's milky white with all of that stuff going through it. So I want to put it to you guys. What do you think about it? Do you think that flush is a good thing or is more harm than good? Some people are already commented on that on the previous video, but let's open it up to everybody. Do you use flush? Do you believe in it? When do you use flush? And what are your experiences with it? Has it slowed down your vacuum? Has it caused you not to be able to get a deep vacuum? Uh, just a little bit of feedback, bouncing things off one another, so let us know. What do you think?